Linux on the desktop has been a mess for decades. There's always a new distro promising a better experience, but they all make the same mistakes. Today, let's talk about what it would actually take to make a JustWorks Linux desktop distribution. The biggest issue with most Linux distros is that they stretch themselves too thin. They try to be everything for everyone, desktop and server, all at once. But this leads to an unfocused, inconsistent experience. Instead, a JustWorks Linux distro should be laser focused on the desktop and make the following changes. First, stop wasting time on package management for applications. Most distros spend too much effort maintaining thousands of packages in their repos when they should be focusing on the OS itself. Instead, the OS should offload application distribution to the app developers, just like Mac OS and Windows do. Take inspiration from Sparkle, a framework that lets app developers manage their own updates without relying on a central repository. This means app developers can publish their software anywhere and users can download it from anywhere. The package manager should only be used for core OS components, and users should never even have to think about it. For developers using the system, encourage them to use a cross-platform package manager like Homebrew. Again, this follows the theme of offloading unnecessary work from the distro team to other ecosystems that are already solving these problems. Next, Linux needs to stop being so reliant on the terminal. The average user doesn't want to use a command line, and even developers appreciate a good GUI. Humans are visual creatures, and forcing people to memorize terminal commands is a relic of the past. Instead of making another CLI tool, invest in technologies that make it easy to make GUI apps. This is why Microsoft succeeded when they pushed .NET. The closest thing Linux has to that is Vala, a language designed for making GTK-based applications with automatic memory management. Sure, it uses garbage collection, but for GUI applications, that's an acceptable trade-off. The point is to make development easier and faster, not to chase theoretical performance gains that don't matter for desktop applications. Another common mistake distros make is trying to cater to both servers and desktops. This never works. A good desktop Linux distro must be designed for desktops only. No server version, no mobile spin-off. Server Linux is already a solved problem, and trying to maintain multiple versions just spreads resources too thin. Specialization creates value, and focusing on just the desktop will allow the OS to be polished and optimized for that single use case. Now, this last point is controversial. Charge money. Most Linux distros are free, and while that's great for accessibility, it also means they struggle with funding and sustainability. When you charge people money, not only does it generate revenue, but it also makes users take you seriously. People value what they pay for, and having a business model means you can invest in improving the OS instead of relying on donations or volunteers. A freemium model could work. Make the core OS free, but offer premium features for paying users. Some might object, but if the source code is available, won't people just clone it and remove the paywall? Yes, some will, but most people won't. If you build up a strong reputation and provide good value, users will pay to support ongoing development. If someone actually followed these principles, we might finally get a Linux distro that just works. Focus on the desktop, simplify app distribution, invest in UI development, and charge money to make it sustainable. Until then, desktop Linux will remain a fragmented mess. What do you think? Would you pay for a Linux distro that actually works out of the box? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.